Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Hope you are all keeping well out there some more updates for you. Today well at long last, there is some news and some more information on that Prince Harry's new hobby, has fans convinced his post-royal life will involve music. Now, that makes it is almost final, Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex's lives will be drastically different. It used to be that their schedule was jam-packed with royal duties. And while there is no way to know exactly what goes on behind closed doors, we can only imagine that the couple didn't have much time to themselves. It was the overwhelming media spotlight that contributed to the decision for them to step back from their roles as senior royals. Ever since they got married a few years ago, we have known that they were longing for more privacy. Since Mexit was announced, Meghan and Prince Harry have been spending as much time as possible in Canada. However, while finishing up royal duties, they haven't been together nearly as much as they would like to. With the time that he now has, the Duke has found something new that he is interested in. Let's talk about how Prince Harry's new hobby has fans convinced that his post-royal life will involve music. Bonding with musician John Bon Jovi Royal fans are most likely aware that Prince Harry recently spent some time with musician John Bon Jovi. He made a trip back home to the United Kingdom, where he met up with Bon Jovi at Abbey Road Studios. According to USA Today, Hands lined up in the streets, and the flashbulbs went off by the dozens as Prince Harry arrived at the iconic location. Here, he watched and participated in the rare recording of one of Bon Jovi's songs that were for the benefit of the Invictus Games, something that will always be near and dear to Prince Harry's heart. It looks like the American singer and the British prince had quite a bit of fun during their recording session as they even stepped outside to pose for some fun photographs, recreating the famous Beatles album cover at Abbey Road Crossing. Prince Harry has been learning to play the guitar. We can only imagine that the meeting with Bon Jovi was extra fun for Prince Harry, since he has been recently learning to play the guitar. Fox News reports that his new interest in music may be a way of dealing with the stress of Mexit and all of the changes that are taking place. Apparently, Prince Harry has owned a guitar of his own for quite some time, although he hasn't really learned to play it, perhaps because he just didn't have the time. Now that he is no longer going to be carrying out royal duties, guitar lessons just may be at the top of Prince Harry's to-do list. Fans would be absolutely ecstatic if that were to happen, and we can only envision how great it would be to see Prince Harry playing some of his favorite tunes. Prince Harry's new hobby has fans convinced that his post-royal life will involve music. While Prince Harry and Meghan are finally getting a quiet, stress-free life, he certainly won't be sitting around without anything to do. There will be plenty of charity and humanitarian work that the couple will still be participating in, however. Stepping down as a senior royal will allow Prince Harry to explore some things that he never had time for in the past. Now that we see what an amazing time that the prince had while connecting with one of the best musicians of all time, fans are definitely convinced that his post-royal life will involve music. Even though learning guitar is new to him, he has always liked music and is likely excited about his new adventure. Music is a wonderful way to relax, and who knows, maybe he will even write a song for his wife Megan, which his fans would absolutely love. And so on to other news and... In January 2020, royal fans were delighted when Meghan, Duchess of Sussex and Prince Harry returned to the UK from Canada. The couple, along with their infant son, Archie Harrison, had spent the holidays on Vancouver Island away from the spotlight. Since they'd been gone for six weeks, many people expected the Sussexes to dive right back into work. However, the pair had another plan. Just one day after visiting Canada House, 
the Sussexes announced their intent to step back as full-time working members of the British royal family. The news sent the royal family, the press, and fans across the globe into a tizzy. Since then, the pair have outlined their new vision for the future, and they've also completed their final royal duties. However, some royal experts believe that Megxit was inevitable. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle considered leaving the royal family for a long time. The first time the Sussexes hinted at Megxit and their deep unhappiness was in October 2019. During their royal tour in South Africa, the pair filmed an ITV documentary Harry and Meghan, An African Journey. In the movie, the couple openly discussed the brutal harassment and scrutiny of the press. Since then, the Duke of Sussex has gotten more candid about their decision to roll out makes it. The decision that I have made for my wife and I to step back is not one I made lightly, he said during a speech at a dinner for his charity, Centibale. It was so many months of talks after so many years of challenges. And I know I haven't always got it right, but as far as this goes, there really was no other option. In a leaked phone call where two Russian pranksters, Vladimir Kuznetsov and Alexei Stolyaro, posed as Swedish climate change activist Greta Thunberg and her dad Svante, Prince Harry went into more detail about Megxit. That's probably a conversation for another time. There's lots of layers to it and lots of pieces to the puzzle, the prince reportedly said. But sometimes the right decision isn't always the easy one. And this decision certainly wasn't the easy one, but it was the right decision for our family, the right decision to be able to protect my son. Some royal experts feel that Megxit was not necessary. When they first announced their plan to step back from royal life, the Sussexes had hoped to remain part-time working royals while seeking financial independence and living in the UK part-time. Ultimately, the royal family vetoed this idea. As a result, the Sussexes were ousted completely. Omid Scobby royal editor said, It's a decision that the couple still feel wasn't necessary, but also wasn't a surprise, given the lack of support they received as they were relentlessly attacked by sections of the British press with almost daily mistruths and hateful commentary. They knew something had to change, but they also didn't want to stop supporting the Queen. One can't help but wonder if things might have been different if a family member or two had stood up for them during the darkest times. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry leaving the royal family was inevitable. British journalist Yasmin Alibay Brown says that Meghan had no choice but to leave the monarchy since it is a stubborn institution built on exclusion and steeped in racism. In America racism is not qualitatively better, but at least nobody denies that there's racism. In some ways, it is more difficult for those of us people of color who live here, because it is insidious and hidden and people don't want to talk about it or accept it. Mexit was the only way their marriage would survive. I just thought, well done. You're taking the only step you can take in order to save yourself and your baby and find your own happiness. I think it's a brave and bold and important decision. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to like. That would be fantastic and press that notification bell if you would like to be notified in the future when I upload videos. Don't stop.